In this lecture, we are going to study different terminologies related to gear and their implication. Gear basic terminologies are pitch circle radius, addendum radius, addendum, dedendum, pressure angle, length of path of contact or length of action, length of arc of contact, contact ratio, back pitch, circular pitch, and teeth of gear. These all terminologies can be represented in the pictorial view or in the form of figure. So here is a pictorial representation of basic terminologies for the gears. So let's start with the base circle. So base circle is the imaginary circle where tooth um, envelope profiles developed. So here is the envelope profile. So at the base circle, this envelope profile is developed. Second is the um, pitch circle and the pitch point. Pitch point is a point where um, teeth of two different gear they meet each other. So you can see that the gear teeth of the smaller one has a smaller one gear teeth and the teeth of the larger gear they are matting each other at a point. So here's the point. So this point is referred to as pitch point. If the second teeth may contact with this um, the teeth of larger gear, they again they meet at the pitch point. If we translate this all the pitch points of the larger gear, it's referred to as pitch point. And similarly, if this pitch point are translate for the all the teeth of smaller gear, it's referred to as pitch circle. The third thing is addendum at addendum. Addendum is the distance from the pitch circle to the top of um, the teeth of gear, and the dedendum is the distance from the pitch circle to the bottom of teeth of the gear. And the distance from the top to the bottom is referred to as hole depth, or summation of addendum and dedendum is referred to as hole depth. Next thing is the um, line of action and pressure angle. If we draw a tangent, if we draw a tangent at the point of matting surfaces, so here's a tangent, and if we draw another a line which um, is tangent to both the uh, base circles of the gears, like here, is tangent to the base circle of the larger gear and tangent to the base circle of the smaller gear. And if we extend both the lines, the tangent line and the line of action, then this the angle between both these lines is are referred to as is referred to as pressure angle. I will repeat again. If we draw a tangent to the point where both the gears are matting each other, so here is the tangent. And if we draw a line um, tangent to the base circle of the larger gear and tangent to the base circle of the, uh, the smaller gear, so this line is referred to as line of action. And the angle between line of action and tangent to the matting point is referred to as pressure angle. Um, the other important things that we are going to discuss here is in on the um, next slide. So as you can see, the top surface of the tooth is refer referred to as top plant, uh, whereas the surface, the matting surface um, of the gear, uh, which is half up of the um, pitch circle and a half down of the pitch circle is referred to as face and flank face and flank so this line represents the line on the pitch circle so here's a pitch circle look you can see it 
and this line is on the pitch circle it's dividing the uh, the surface on the tooth into two the upper surface is referred to as face and the bottom is referred to as flank tooth thickness is taken at the pitch circle so distance between two extreme ends on the tooth on the surface on the pitch circle is referred to as tooth thickness and the circular pitch is the point it is taken on the um, again taken on the pitch circle from the point on matting for example if this surface is uh, if this point on the surface of the tooth mat uh, meet with the other tooth of the larger gear or smaller gear then definitely this surface and this point um, will make contact with the tooth of um, tooth of the uh, other gear so distance from here to the hair is referred to as circular pitch or distance from the the matting uh, matting point of one tooth to the matting point of the other tooth is referred to as circular pitch you will observe that uh, if both the gears are mat to each other or they meet each other they never make contact at the bottom surface like for example this top surface of one gear never meet to the bottom surface of the other gear there always will be a clearance so this clearance is very important very much important because if the top surface of the other gear mat with the bottom surface of this gear then there will be extreme frictions and because of friction there will be heat so energy will be lost as a heat and also the material will be degrade uh, so that's all uh, from the basic terminologies next we will move and we will study different equations related to these basic terminologies the length of path of contact or length of action they both are the same thing and represented by LP and LP can be easily calculated with the help of equation mentioned here uh, where RA1 is the addendum uh, radius of gear 1 R1 is the pitch circle radius of gear 1 alpha is the pressure angle um, RA2 is the addendum uh, radius of gear 2 R2 is the pitch circle radius of gear 2 alpha is again pressure angle R1 is as mentioned here um, is the uh, pitch circle radius of gear 1 R2 is a pitch circle radius of gear 2 and alpha gains pressure angle if we um, if we make a mathematical calculation uh, in this cal in this equation then we can easily find LP LP can also be find out with the help of the multiplication of uh, length of arc uh, with cos of alpha um, the length of arc um, it will be discussed in the next slide uh, so the next terminology that we are going to uh, share here is the MC, the contact ratio. Basically, it's a ratio between the LP and PB. LP is the length of path of contact or length of action, whereas PB is a back pitch. Back pitch can be easily calculated with the help of this equation, where it is 2 pi multiplied by R1, the pitch circle radius of gear 1, into cos of alpha divided by number of teeth of gear 1. If we know the back pitch, if we know the length of action, then we can easily calculate the contact ratio. The length of arc of contact L arc uh, is a product of K, which is a design parameter, into the circular pitch. Uh, normally, the K uh, is some numeric number. Um, when we are solving a problem in the later case, then you will see the value of K uh, is 2 but it can be any other number as well so circular pitch is also a product of pi into the module m um, the r1 the pitch circle radius of gear 1 uh, it can be easily find out with the help of equation which is a product of module into the number of teeth of uh, teeth on the gear 1 divided by 2 whereas the pitch circle radius 
of gear 2 can be easily find out with the help of equation um, that module multiply by number of teeth uh, on gear 2 in divided by 2. H represent the addendum and the addendum can be find with the help of uh, equation which is addendum um, of uh, gear 1 can be find with the help of this equation which is the subtraction of uh, the addendum radius of gear 1 sub minus um, addendum uh, sorry minus pitch circle radius so if you remember uh, the pitch circle radius and the addendum uh, radius if you if we subtract the uh, addendum radius from from the pitch circle radius the remaining portion that we will get is the addendum the statement of problem number one on gear is to transmit power a 30 teeth gear drives the 60 teeth gear at a pressure angle of 21 degree the pitch radius of small gear is 40 mm and the addendum radius is 45 millimeter the pitch radius of the larger gear is 95 millimeter and the addendum radius is 99 millimeter so we have to calculate the length of action and contact ratio so to find length of action and contact ratio um, we have to perform series of calculation for the case of ease uh, what I have done um, I made an excel sheet and I uh, represented all the calculation like given data required data and solution in the excel sheet let's see so here are the snapshots from the excel sheet uh, you can download this excel sheet and then you can go through step by step uh, from the given data required data and solution you can then see how I have made a calculation in the uh, by using the equations uh, if you find any mistake then please um, let me know so that I may make the correction in the uh, Excel sheet uh, for the other students so as the given data is mentioned here the pitch circle radius of small gear R1 is given 40 millimeter the pitch circle radius of large gear is given it's 95 millimeter the addendum radius of small gear is given it is 45 millimeter the addendum radius of large gear is given which is 99 millimeter the pressure angle alpha is 21 degree uh, whereas number of teeth of small gear uh, are 30 and the number of teeth of large gear are 60. Uh, the required data is LP the length of uh, action and MC the contact ratio. Um, you already know these uh, equations so for the ease for the sake of ease I, I mentioned them again here and um, uh, to find LP just I have used this formula in this cell uh, it's a complex formula you can uh, go through um, point by point and then you can see what I have made here um, I mentioned here that I use uh, cos alpha and sin alpha values uh, not in the calculation just I meant because there's some um, a transformation from the region to degree to avoid this confusion I just uh, I just I just mentioned I just uh, used the uh, sine alpha for example sine alpha sine alpha is here so sine 21 degree value and cos alpha 21 cos 21 degree value in both the cases uh, so again uh, to find MC we need uh, uh, back pressure also so the back pressure formula is also given in the in the previous slides so you can easily find the back pressure um, if you click on this cell in the Excel sheet then you can see the formula in detail uh, so by dividing LP by PB we can get the contact ratio so contact ratio is 2.66 which means almost three teeth of gear 1 and 2 mean three teeth of gear 1 and gear three teeth of gear 2 are in contact at a given time so uh, this what uh, how this, pro this this problem is all about uh, let's move to the second problem so the problem statement of uh, problem number two is the power has to be transmitted by two equal size gear such that they have 40 teeth uh, with the pressure angle of 22 degree and 6 mm module if the arc of contact is two times the circular pitch then find the addendum so here's the design parameter two if you remember the, 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 the slides uh, the lecture slides I mentioned the um, uh, K 
and I, I, I requested at that time that you will have a problem where there is some number. So here is a number design parameter 2. As you can see the arc of contact is 2 times the circular pitch. So 2 times the 2 means the design parameter k. So we have to find uh, the addendum h. Let's see. Again all the calculations are available in the Excel sheet. You can download it and you can um, move step by like uh, step by step what are the parameters, the given parameters, the required parameters and what are the equations that I have used here and how I have used here. So you can uh, follow the stepwise procedure. Uh, let's summarize the uh, results. Um, so first the given data. Um, we have a pressure angle which is 22 degree. Uh, the number of teeth of gears uh, like 40 degree because both the, te both the gears are similar. So Z1 and Z2 will be equal to 40. Uh, the module is M is 6. Uh, please note that because both the gears are similar so their radius the pistol radius are same r1 will be equal to r2 and the addendum radius of both the gears will be same so what what are the required parameters uh, we have to find basically we have to find the addendum but uh, to find addendum we need other parameters also for example addendum radius of gears uh, length of arc uh, um, length of action um, so all these, uh, even though we have to find the addendum, but we need other parameters um, to find this addendum. So let's um, uh, put the values in the equation. So length of arc equation is um, uh, 2 into uh, p uh, or 2 into pi into m. Um, so if we uh, we have a module, so we can multiply 2 multiply by 3. Point 14 multiply by 6 so we will get 37.68 mm uh, second is the length of action lp the lp uh, one of the equation of lp is the length of arc multiplied by cos of alpha alpha is the pressure angle so if we do the calculation we will get 34.93 mm um, the the pitch circle radius the formula of pitch circle radius is module into the number of teeth divided by 2 so it came about 120 mm so as you know um, we have to find two parameters number one ra the addendum radius and the pitch circle radius we already have find out the um, pitch circle radius and the missing term is ra the addendum radius if we know the addendum radius then we will subtract the pitch circle radius from it and we'll get the addendum but unfortunately but unfortunately we don't have the ra value so RA value can be easily calculated with the help, with the help of um, a length of action uh, formula. We already have calculated LP. Here's the LP. And the other parameters, uh, for example, RA1 and RA2, they are both are same. R1, R2, they both are same. So these both terms can be summed up uh, as, as a one term. So this will be 2 multiplied by under root r square minus r uh, sorry r a square minus r square into cos square alpha bracket close uh, as these both terms are same r1 is equal to r2 so this will come to r sine alpha so to find um, r a we have to equate this r a to the uh, to the to the um, left hand side and remaining known terms to be right hand side if we put the values of all the known terms for example here the LP the the 120 uh, for the R1 which is which is here R1 is equal to R2 is equal to R as I mentioned here uh, second is cos alpha alpha is 22 degree uh, so if we put the values we can easily we can easily calculate RA RA is 173.58 if we subtract 173.58 from uh, this 120 then we have got 53.58 millimeter addendum so addendum value is 53.58 so here is uh, uh, the all the calculation of uh, problem 2 um, and uh, 
uh, if you have any question about the gears or the problem on the gears then uh, please uh, I would request you please uh, ask via Google Classroom or WhatsApp group and I will try my level best to answer this question at the earliest thank you